Okay, so first of all, before I start this, the pack that I'm using in this video is my 2k follower pack, so my Twitch will be down below in the description. At the time of me doing this voiceover, I'm like 100, 280 away, so if you're not followed, that doesn't mean a lot. Um, I'm gonna talk about the Ranked Bedwars community and why it's kind of driven me away from like grinding the game or like really playing for ELO. It's more just, it's not even the gameplay or anyone, it's the community and how they act. Just during the game, everyone looks at the bigger picture too much instead of the game. I think everyone in the community is too negative at times, but also like... I don't know, it all really started back when Sketchy was just like, when newer players were coming in, Sketchy made premium. It wasn't even like a skill thing or anything. Sketchy made it so he could have people who were older from the community to still be around and vibe with. And that's when premium started the whole, I think I'm good enough to be premium, but this guy is premium, so it's this, and everyone starting to care a lot about how they're viewed in the community, which I thought was really stupid. In my opinion, I thought all this caring and stuff isn't really stupid. Like people can say from your point of view as a premium player is like, yeah, of course you wouldn't care. You had it. It's a big deal for me being noticed. And I just thought it wasn't a show of skill. It wasn't really a show of anything. It was just good people who were like vibing. Then it became like new gens will never get premium. The new players aren't good, which to an extent, the new players really aren't that good. But the reason why I don't think they're good is because I don't think they're good at listening. That's where part of my annoyance comes with this community is because no one listens in this community. Bed Wars has always been viewed as a younger kids game, like by other communities and just everything. No one and a lot of people just come in with the idea of I'm going to be really good. And I don't need to listen to you because who are you or just they don't understand it and they're playing and just aren't experienced enough for a competitive game mode. And then people come in and say like, I'm not going to listen to your toxic and stuff like this when I've always viewed it as I think Bedwars is a really, it's competitive. It's trying to be competitive for Bedwars. People are going to care to put forth their effort of they're put forth their best effort. And when you do something that's causing them to lose, they're allowed to get upset, especially if you're not listening or something. It's, that's the toxic side of it. It goes out of the way. Like... I know from like being friends with a few staff members who like stock chat all day and know like what's some dealing with it. it's like and then you add in the fact that like if you just look at the chat in the server it's just people who I think care way too much about the non-competitive side of side of rank bedward like why do you like I think people care too much about it being about like making friendships or being a competitive game to the point where it's like you're trying to have a competitive game not be competitive when other people are playing it competitively and it just doesn't clash co correctly like i understand friends groups and like competitive things but like when you get to the point where it's like you do expecting people to like everyone to like you and then when they're not there's like toxic things that happen like if someone likes doesn't like me i don't give a fuck and shit like that i think that a lot of people don't realize that everyone knows each other but not everyone is really gonna like each other but ev people aren't also gonna beef over it like beef over one game the one thing about older rank bedwars that i you still rem always remember is if you made a mistake one game people forgot easily that that was it was just one game and everyone got over it even though it was competitive so it was toxic but they might have just thought of you as not a good player because of it but they wouldn't always bring it up i really i always thought it's something they really wouldn't bring up much it's there's probably that was more from my experience there could have been things from other people but i just think the problem with the rank bedwars community is just how much people hang on to things i think overall it's just not inner it's not entertaining and there's no fulfillingness like fulfillingness of grinding elo because you don't really you gain just so even with the money re re reward i don't really like playing it because the competitive side of it people try to weigh down while also trying to play it competitively it's like there's two different sides and it's not fun and then there's all the new people who like you can go and be like i'm just trying to play this for fun and then they're ruining the experiences of the people who are trying to play it competitively when it's just like there's no real guideline to show the difference like i don't know how like it'd be easier if i was getting like ask questions to explain it but this is more of like my thoughts on it all i mean like it was i think premium and all that was starting to tone down a little and then this is when it got really bad and this is when the community like gets to the point where i can't even stand it is when they released pugs when pugs became a thing and now league when everyone else who isn't part of it their most caring part is either this person's in pugs what how am i not in pugs if this person's in pugs or league like what's your league team like how's league like blah 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 like it's just like all about all this other stuff that's just like supposed to be more for fun becomes the main aspect that people care about the most and the more fun things became become the more competitive and skill-based things and the things that are supposed to be competitive in some aspects which i don't really like understand at all it's really really hard from my point of view to be able to like do anything because i'm I joined a queue, I'm viewed as a good player, it used to be. I was an average player and I was like the worst player on it, like the worst player on some teams and I didn't have the pressure on me to have to 
play extremely well to win games. That's another part that I don't like about it is this the overall amount of good players got higher, but the overall skill level of the server in general dropped. Q dodging was never something you really saw much happening, just like good players wouldn't queue each other back in the day. Now you might get one or two good players, like really good players a queue, if you're lucky, like above average players a queue. And it's just the game is so much different now. It doesn't feel the same as it was old. And I think that's why like people don't realize that like older people will say when new gens came, it just, it, it was a new generation of players that changed the game forever for us and made it less fun and a little bit less competitive, which I've come to accept, but it's also the reason why I don't really enjoy the community as much and why when I play it, it's just a stream. I play it entirely as a content creator or someone who's bored. I don't play it for ELO now because the competitiveness of it as an above average player that I view myself as isn't there when I, I want it to be a competitive game. I don't want it to come down to which teammate has the, which team has the worst player or the person who doesn't listen. It just comes down to, it, it used to come down to what team played better and it doesn't really come down to that or like, there's people who like view other people as God and just like don't believe in their like should be in places like when people like when I get on teams and they say we lost before the game started. I'm not going to like even care about that game like they're already down on themselves. So I don't I think like the real takeaway is here. I don't know. I'm, I was all over the place. I'm kind of ADHD. I was all over the place. But I think my main points about why I don't like the rank betters community is 100 percent. 100% the lack of listening to be able to learn. You can't learn if you don't listen. The attitudes of people with it being half competitive, half for fun, and they're not being able to really be like an understanding of the fact that it's a competitive game mode. Then I think third and final is about how much everyone cares about everyone else. Like with things like pugs and stuff where it's like, this person got pugs, but I don't have it. Like just play better yourself. Don't worry about how other people are viewed. Worry about how you're viewed as a person. And I think like those are like my tips if you're someone new. Also in this is learn learn to be a good listener. I will I don't care about skill level if you listen. You might make mistakes, but if you're listening to me the whole game, I don't care. You shouldn't like make game sense mistakes if you're able to listen most of the time. You can just make like a one on one individual mistakes, which that's just you need to play and get better. And then for pugs, just just care about yourself, honestly. Like if someone else gets it, just view yourself that just 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 notice that, that person was viewed and you need to get more recognized and get better if that's what you really want, if that's what you really care about. And the competitive side, people need to realize what Rank Bedwars is for, and that's to be a competitive game mode. So if you're playing for fun, then I don't know if Rank Bedwars is really for you. Because it's not the fun part for players is supposed to be the fact it's competitive, but I really don't know. Anyways, everyone have a good day. I love you all. And I don't know. I think this video might not do the best, but I just want to really voice my opinion. If you guys like it and want more videos of me talking about stuff, you can give me other Rink Bedwars topics or shit like that to talk about. Alright, thank you guys. I love you. Mwah.